the son of a poor smith who invented Audi. Do you own an Audi or do you dream of owning one? Few current Audi owners are aware of the lineage represented by their car's four-ring insignia. August Horch was the daring and inventive engineer who directly created two of the companies that would become today's Audi. Nobody could have predicted that a blacksmith's son and a poor-born would become one of the stellar car makers ever and develop an empire. He demonstrated that if you have the correct talent, guts, and desire, fate would embrace you. His innovative company is now worth millions. So let's take a deep dive into his life and how it all started. August Horst was a German engineer and car pioneer who founded the manufacturing behemoth that would become Audi. Horst was born in a tiny blacksmith shop in Winnengen. His first rate was similar to that of his father's occupation, and he received his education at Horstschule Mitwede, or Mitwede Technical College. He worked in shipbuilding after earning a degree in engineering. Horch worked for Carl Benz from 1896 until November 1899, when he founded a Horch & Co. in Ehrenfeld, Cologne, Germany. Car production began on a limited scale, keeping to Horch's primary idea of manufacturing only excellent, sturdy vehicles. But Audi had already evolved into one of the most well-known German automotive brands within a few years. It was a competitive success from the outset. Victories in Austrian Alpine rallies between 1911 and 1914 established the Audi brand on the international stage. The Audi Type C, 14-35 PS, was exceptionally popular, earning the moniker Alpine Victor. Horch, who was born on October 12, 1868 in Winningen, Rhineland Palatinate, was interested in machinery from an early age. He was an apprentice and journeyman as a teen, and his practical talent and creativity aided his technical studies in engine instruction at Medvede. Horst was employed in Carl Benz's Mannheim plant in 1896 and rose swiftly through the ranks to lead Benz's motor vehicle assembly department. He worked for Benz for three years, learning a lot about the fledgling car sector before going it alone. The new Horch & Co. business in Cologne and Renfield specialized in auto repairs, but that wasn't its founder's primary emphasis. Horch started developing his car, which was powered by a front-mounted two-cylinder engine with a unique impact-free combustion chamber design and light aluminum crankcase. In January 1901, the prototype was tested. Horch experimented with innovative technologies such as shaft drive to a vehicle's wheels, chrome nickel steel gear wheels, and light alloy housings during the following few years creating a few automobiles with 4.5 to 5 horsepower two-cylinder engines. In Zwickau, he founded the Joint Stock Company, a Horch Motor Wagon Work, AG, in 1904. Their automobiles grew upscale with four-cylinder engines ranging from 22 to 40 horsepower, and more than 100 examples were made in 1908. Horch's relationship with his company's supervisory board deteriorated, and he resigned on June 16, 1909. August Horst founded a new automobile enterprise in Zwickau one month after resigning. His first firm legally banned him from using his name in a rival business. But the answer came from the son of one of Horst's business partners, Franz Finkenstur. The child overheard the guys debating names and, being a Latin student, volunteered the Latin translation Horst, which means hark or listen in German became Audi. August Horst scheduled a meeting with close business friends Paul and Franz Finkenstur from Zwickau business because he was forbidden from using Horch as a brand name in his new vehicle business. They met in France, Finkenstur's flat to brainstorm a new name for the firm. Francis Kidd was quietly studying Latin in a corner of the room throughout this encounter. Several times he appeared to be about to say something, but instead swallowed his words and continued working, until he eventually blurted out that it would be a good idea to call it Audi instead of Horch. Horch means here in German, which is Audi in the singular imperative form of Audire, to listen in Latin. Everyone in attendance at the meeting heartily approved the concept. Audi Automobile Work, GmbH, Zwickau, afterwards Audi Work, AG, Zwickau, was registered in the Zwickau Registration Codes Company Register on April 25, 1910. In the same year, Audi built its first vehicle, the Audi Type A 10 22 horsepower Sport Fation followed by the successor Type B10-28 PS. Audi began with a Type A 2612cc inline-4 engine, followed by a 3564cc model as well as 4680 and 5720cc variants. These vehicles were also successful in sports events. In 1924, the first six-cylinder Type M with a displacement of 4655cc was introduced. 
August Horst departed Audi work in 1920 to take a top post at the Ministry of Transport, although he remained a member of Audi's Board of Trustees. Audi was the first German vehicle company to introduce a production car with left-hand drive, the Audi Type K, in September 1921. During the 1920s, left-hand drive spread and established supremacy because it allowed a superior vision of oncoming traffic, making overtaking safer while driving on the right. Horsch collaborated with Berlin officials as an automotive technical consultant as his gradually developed Audi Model K moved Germans to standard left-hand drive and central gear changes in the early 1920s. In 1922, he received an honorary doctorate from the Braunschweig College of Advanced Technology. Back in Zwickau, the Audi automobile work produced vehicles such as the 8th cylinder type R Imperator in 1927 and the compact type E in 1931. Due to Germany's severe financial situation following World War I, DKW controller J.S. Rasmussen acquired primary control of Audi in 1928. The State Bank of Saxony advocated for the foundation of Car Union AG in 1932, which represented the merger of Audi Work AG, Porsche Work AG, So Power Motor Work JS, Ramusen AG, DKW, and Wanderer Works Auto Section. August Horst sat on the Auto Union Board of Directors. Through the 1930s, Audi automobiles advanced with the front wheel drive and aerodynamic designs. Jurgen Ramusen, the owner of Damp Craft Wagon DKW, purchased the majority of Audi Work AG shares in August 1928. The next year, Ramusen purchased the remaining assets of the Reckenbacher, including the production facility for eight-cylinder engines. These engines were utilized in the 1929 Audi Zwickau and Audi Dresden models. Simultaneously, six-cylinder and four-cylinder variants were produced. Audi automobiles from the era were elegant vehicles with custom body work. Audi united with Horch, DKW, and Wanderer in 1932 to establish Auto Union AG, Chemnitz. During this time, the business introduced the Audi Front, the first European automobile to combine a six-cylinder engine with front-wheel drive. It shared a powertrain with the Wanderer, but it was rotated 180 degrees so that the drive shaft faced forwards. Before World War II, Auto Union utilized the four interconnected rings that now make up the Audi logo to represent these four brands. However, during that period, this symbol was exclusively used on Auto Union racing vehicles, while the member firms used their names and badges. As technical advancements grew more concentrated, several Audi vehicles were powered by Horch and Wanderer engines. Reflecting the economic difficulties of the period, Auto Union shifted its focus to smaller automobiles throughout the 1930s, with the company's DKW brand accounting for 17.9% of the German car market by 1938, while Audi owned only 0.1%. After the last few Audis were delivered in 1939, the Audi brand vanished from the new automobile market for more than two decades. Horsch relocated to Saxony to avoid Allied bombardment while living in Berlin during World War II. He evacuated Soviet-occupied Chemnitz for Upper Franconia, residing in Munichburg, in 1945. Auto Union's facilities at Chemnitz, Zwickau, and Zuschau Pau were quickly closed, but the carmaker was re-established in 1949 as Auto Union GmbH with headquarters in Ingolstadt, Bavaria. Horsch was given an honorary position on the new company's supervisory board, where he witnessed his previous enterprises, Porsche and Audi, being phased out in favor of more cost-effective DKW vehicles and motorbikes. Audi sales increased from 653,000 in 2000 to 1 million and 3,000 in 2008. Eastern Europe plus 19.3%, Africa 17.2%, and the Middle East 58.5% saw the highest sales growth. China has become an important market for Audi, accounting for 108,000 of the 705,000 vehicles shipped in 2009. Audi recorded a 10% rise in sales from 408 to 480 units in the previous year in May 2012. It produces cars in seven factories across the world, some of which are shared with other VW Group brands. Audi held a display at the Consumer Electronics Show in January 2014, demonstrating a phone compartment utilizing the QE Open Interface Standard CES. In May, the majority of Audi dealers in the United Kingdom incorrectly stated that the Audi A7, A8 and R8 had passed Europe and cap safety tests. Audi confessed in 2015 that at least 2.1 million Audi vehicles were complicit in the Volkswagen emissions testing scam. Despite the pollution crisis, Audi stated that sales in the United States grew by 16.2% in September. Audi's parent company, Volkswagen, reported the arrest of Audi CEO Rupert Stadler on June 18, 2018. 
Audi announced plans to build an assembly facility in Pakistan, with the company's local partner obtaining property in Karachi's Kurangi Creek Industrial Park. Audi Horch died on February 3, 1951 at the age of 83. His legacy currently includes inductions into the American and European Automotive Halls of Fame, as well as the August Horch Museum at Audi, Strabe and Zwickau. That's it for the day guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have ever owned an Audi, let us know about the experience in the comments below. Also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more amazing business biographies. And we'll see you in the next one.